Good morning, folks. The typhoon has begun to weaken very rapidly. This is good news for Japan. The effects will be felt, but muted. An Uyen candidate number 11 forms south of that in the western Pacific. South America has a convergence on the east and another coming in from the west. Much focus has been on the low at New Zealand, but also take note of the convergence south of Perth. That may shift in to become effective sooner than your forecast predicted. In Europe, we have a flow off the North Atlantic funneled towards a directly south moving line of storms that forms an L shape across the continent. Bit scattered there, check your local forecasts. Situation across the pond is much simpler. One system moves off the east coast while the heat and moisture driving up the breadbasket will produce storms even up into Canada tonight. Please be on alert for hail, lightning, maybe even tornadoes. Shifting to space weather. Earth got double tapped with gamma energy last night, both blasts from well north in the sky. X-ray and extreme ultraviolet energy decreases as the solar flares got weaker, as the sunspots began decaying, especially the M-flare maker from days ago. The departing spots are big, sure, but there is obvious decay in the biggest and out ahead of that, and all around we see beta groupings without significant mixing of magnetics. Can't even really call a gamma anywhere. Hope holds out for the south incoming, but development would be needed with positive pretty much running the show now. Solar wind? Be still, my beating heart. We're up off the floor with density shock waves, followed by a ramp to over 400 kilometers per second. Still pitiful for a coronal stream and for solar maximum, but it beats the anemic telemetry we've seen for days on end. Earth's magnetosphere looks like it got used to the vacation and stumbled a bit out of the gate handling this influx. Right now, the next coronal hole is Earth-facing on the south, easily visible here, dark. But did you also notice the solar tsunami at the northern portion of it? We had a plasma filament sitting there, and just as SDO had some stability problems, the filament destabilized and let go, producing the solar tsunami. Using ISWA, we can get around the jumbled frames to just see the before and after. Filament there, then it's gone. This was a clear eruption. Luckily, we can use the corona graph on SOHO and tell that this blast is heading mostly north away from our planet. You can also see an eruption coming out of the right side at the end there. It was a tremendous filament release from the limb. Good thing that one turned away already. So the question is, will the entire CME from that first filament miss us to the north? NASA's not sure. Their endless spiral shows a chance for a glancing blow in two to three days here. I don't believe there's any cause for concern, especially as the impact would be minor anyway. Always fun to track, though. Earthquakes may pick back up in the next two to three days as the coronal hole down south faces Earth, and we get a fast drop in sunspot numbers per the newest Uyen factor. Eyes open. No fear at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.